Hi, this is Paul from FinishYourSong.com. Uh, I've got a video for you today continuing with our look at drums in Cubase. And what I want to look at is a quick and easy way of altering the voicing within a drum pattern without affecting the groove. What we've got here is a very straightforward drum pattern which I've created just by taking some of the preset grooves from Easy Drummer and assembling them to make an 8 bar intro. So let's have a quick listen to what we've got so far. Okay, so let's open that up to have a look inside the drum editor. I've got the pop and rock drum map loaded so we can see where the drums are. Now what I want to do is to replace these opening snares with a rim shot and I also want to move this hi-hat pattern so that it's actually playing on a slightly less obtrusive sound. And then I want to take these hi-hats here and alternate some of them onto some of the closed voicings rather than being all on the tight voicings. Now what I could just do is click and drag, which is fine if you're going to deal with a lot of voicings, but one of the things you've got to be careful of is that when you click and drag, if the first note you're clicking and dragging isn't spot on the grid, you will end up either having to turn the snap on and off in order to try and approximate where it is or you'll find that first note snaps to the grid and then what you're left with doesn't line up with all the other notes in your groove. So there's a very straightforward way of doing that and that is to highlight the ones you want and then instead of doing anything with them come up here to where it gives you the pitch and because you've got your drum map open you can see all I need to do is double click into that and type E1 and there we go they move automatically and they keep their same position in the groove so we'll take these hi-hats all apart from the first one and we'll change them to be closed just F sharp 1 and there we are and then these here we'll take to be the closed edge, which is A sharp minus one. And that'll do us for messing around with this. You get the idea. You just highlight the notes you want to move and type in the note pitch you want in here and it moves, but it doesn't disturb the groove. Let's see what we've got now. Let's see how our intro has changed. So I think that's a more balanced drum part, but that's not really the point. The point is the drums are in an appropriate voicing so that we can build the rest of the arrangement over them as we see fit. That's it. Quick, easy, hope it helps. Until next time, take care of yourselves.